Hi, welcome to Upper Amster. Today's day two of CES, but as for day one, I got to see quite a few things that interest me. One is a camera called Fly360. Their 360 version with 1080p was actually went on sale yesterday in the stores, but that's not the one I want. The one I want is the 4K version. And with the 4K version, they provide a camera with a single lens and also the video editing software, which is very important for a 360 video. And another cool thing about it was that they have a partnership with Bell, and people don't need to strap a GoPro to their helmets anymore when they ride their bikes. Another item that interested me was Alec Baby Monitor. This is like a little footy that straps onto your child's feet, child between the age of 0 and 18 months, and monitors oxygen level, heart rate, and their sleep. So let's say that the child has the newborn has something caught in the throat, mucus, has hard time, hard time breathing, your oxygen level will fluctuate, and an alert will be sent to the base station via Bluetooth. Then the base station through Wi Fi on a home network will send an alert to the smartphone devices, tablets, just to notify the parent or the guardian. And I think that's, that was going to be a very helpful device in the future. And the battery life, it's rechargeable, battery life is three months. Next, we have screens. Screens was a Kickstarter project I first learned about. It's where multiple HDMI sources gets plugged into this one device, and through this one device, one HDMI out connects to my TV. A lot more games these days don't have split screen. With this one, yes, you need a second console, but you can play games like Halo 5 split screen. And the user can resize the, the screen however they want. You can choose which audio to output from a TV and which audio to output from like a tablet. On the main unit, you can have four HDMI sources and going in, but you can daisy chain them too. I can watch two football games, play Halo, and do something else. I don't want. There's a built-in web browser too, Chrome, powered by Chrome. So this is an actual real product. It's not like one of the other Kickstarter projects where people hype it up and they don't deliver for another year or two. Now, the last thing was HTC Vive. So I've always said I love the Oculus Rift. Yeah, there's Gear VR, I think it's, it has its purpose because it's mobile, it's not, you're not tethered, the frame rate, and there's other issues with Gear VR, but at least you're not tethered. HTC Vive and Oculus are going head in head. There are quite a few impressive features with HTC Vive. First is the front facing camera. With that, let's say that I was immersed in VR, then let's say I want to find a chair to sit down. I don't need to take off my VR goggles. I can just then go sit down. Oh, that's another thing. With this one, you don't need to sit down. With the Oculus, more than likely you have to sit unless you hook it up to a connect sensor, which is not they're not being so where there's no games meshing both of them at the same time right now. The HTC 5 package comes with the VR goggles, two controllers, two wall mount sensors, and an adapter interface for this you want to connect it to a computer. All that's available for pre-order next month and will go on sale in April. Those were my highlights for day one and for day two we'll be spending most of our time at the Tech West side such as the Venetian, Sands Expo, and I got a meeting at Caesars Palace too. Okay well stay tuned. Thanks for watching Walker Hamster. Bye.